uh, some of the memories I have like of actual crazy stories that happened while we were there. Um, one night it was myself, Hunter, and Austin all working the 29th store. And uh, it was kind of a slow, it was a slow Friday or Saturday night. It was pretty quiet for, for that day. And um, there was this guy over in the music section. So the music section in the 29th store was like over on a far wall. And on the opposite side of it was the porn section. So you had music wall and porn. <laughs> and so he was, there's this guy and he was just like standing in the music section. And we were like, eh, he's probably just like checking out the porn. What's he doing? And just, he was there for a while. So I just like was putting up returns and uh, go look around the corner. And the guy's just like staring at the music wall. I'm like, do you need help? He's like, where's my freedom rock? I was like, you're... You're what? <laughs> He's like, where's my, I, you don't have Freedom Rock. Where's your Freedom Rock? I'm like, this is a video store. This is a, not a music store, it's a video store. You don't have, you need Freedom Rock. He just like flipped out and he was clearly a bum. So he stank to high hell. It was, ooh, the smell was terrible. And he just started really freaking out because I, I like was like, it's a video store and we don't have your Freedom Rock. <laughs> um, so I was like, uh, so he was freaking out and I said, okay, can you, I think you need to leave. And the moment I said that, it was like I flipped some switch in this guy's brain and he just started rampaging. So suddenly he's like, you can't tell me to leave. He starts taking off his shirt. I was like, oh God. And Hunter is like coming over. He's like, you need to leave. Like he's, Hunter's very like quiet and shy and, and very soft spoken. So he came over and was like, you need to leave, like, you need to go. And the guy was just not having it. So he's he was freaking out, running around the store. And we realized, okay, this guy's too much that we can handle. We're gonna need to call the cops. So a uh, hunter picks up the phone to start calling the cops. The guy notices that Hunter's going to grab the phone and then starts dialing. And he starts, like, throwing things around. He throws his... His, sh his balled up shirt of stanky bum sweat and like throws it into my face, smacks me like in my head. Austin like runs to the back, he's like, oh shit. And then Hunter's like trying to hide in the back with the phone, like trying to tell the cops to come. And we're trying to handle this guy and he just starts pushing over all of the, the computer to monitors. He just sm smashes them on the floor, pushes over the the video stands and they just go down like dominoes like boom 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 so <laughs> the store is being literally turned upside down by this by this drunk bum for his because he wanted his freedom rock and we just were doing our best like hunter and myself and and austin were trying to handle this guy and we couldn't so we were like almost trying to like leer like lure him outside and finally he goes outside and we run up and like lock the door and so while Hunter's still on the, the phone with this drunk bum, freedom rock bum, whatever, he, he like starts coming up to the windows and like, like slamming on them and freaking out. And we're just like, holy shit, what, this guy's on like meth, what the fuck? Um, but the, pop, the, the cops finally came and it just, after this guy like got out and got arrested and everything, we just turned around to look at the store and it was like a tornado had gone through I, it was an experience and that story because of all of that uh, ended up in the Austin Chronicle uh, as like a story about how uh, occupational hazards working with <laughs> working at Vulcan um, but the funny thing is is that they combined Hunter and I as one person in the original story so it was like Hunter Danica <laughs> so Hunter Danica handled the bum in an amazing way and uh yeah it just it was a uh, probably the most traumatic thing that happened uh for myself at the 29th store uh, yeah